All right, so we are here at Greystone Haunted Manor, and yes, it is daylight out here, but I'm already creeped out already, so I'm gonna be completely honest with you. If you have some little ones watching this episode, maybe a good thing to uh, take them to the next room, all right? Everyone just wish me good luck because I'm completely terrified of this kind of stuff, so here we go. Located in Longview, Greystone Haunted Manor is East Texas's largest haunted attraction and over the years has earned a reputation for being downright terrifying for even the most seasoned haunted housegoers. <laughs> and to give me the inside scoop on what to expect, we met up with owner Sue Gray. So how do you dream up something like this? Well, I, I just kind of know what's scary to me, what I think would be scary to me, and I try and build it. And I really like uh, the aesthetics, uh, the organic feel of being outdoors. It's extremely important to me. I just love it, absolutely love you it. You love it, I'm terrified of it. Oh, I just love <laughs> it. I, I take a chair and I'll sit out in my cemetery and just sit there and look at everything and think, oh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. I enjoy it. So I have to ask you, because mm -hmm. you do dream up this yes. every year, you bring in something new. So what do you think, in your own opinion, mm -hmm. is the scariest part here? I really believe it's my cemetery. It's the Oak Raven Cemetery, I think is the scariest because I've put a ton of my work and my ideas into that area and yeah. I just absolutely love it. And we've got a wonderful animatronics in there. We've got a lot of grave diggers and we've got things coming up out of graves and things popping up around every corner. We've really increased the number of our scares this year, I, I bet by 200%. So here at Greystone Haunted Manor, they take a lot of pride in the amount of work that goes not only to the sets, but also the costumes. And luckily for us, we were able to go behind the scenes and meet some of the talent. I'm totally scared. What is someone who's not experienced anything like this before? What should they expect? Everything. <laughs> expect to be scared. It's one thing seeing this place in the daylight, but when night falls, it turns into a whole new world filled with creepy crawlers, zombies, and nightmarish villains you never wish to encounter. So it's time for the main event. And you know, I thought maybe looking at the costumes I'd be a little less scared, but uh, so something tells me otherwise. But we're gonna do something really fun. I got a heart rate monitor. We're gonna get a bottom baseline. At, I'm at 65 BPMs right now, but we're about to go in. So here goes nothing. <laughs> Up first, the Haunted Manor, formerly home to Dr. Manor, who disappeared in the 1800s, leaving his wife and kids to be found mysteriously petrified, solid, family made hanging from a rope in the hall. This is step one. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Uh, you should go back there. Look, ah, okay. Ah, you scared me! Don't do that! <laughs> so, uh, we survived our first haunted house. I may have lost my mic pack and my voice in the process, but we're here. We did it together with the camera guys and everything. But we have three more haunted houses. Let's do this. Let's make our way. Let's go. All right, so up next is the cemetery walkthrough, and this is the one that Sue told us that this was her favorite, scariest one. So let's do this. <sighs> Oak Raven Cemetery is unlike any other. Dreamt up by Sue herself, the dead come to life, lurking in places unknown, leaving you questioning what's behind every corner. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna follow the light. I'm following the light. <laughs> Made it out alive. Y'all, cobwebs in my hair fell and I danced with the zombie. So, um, pretty much accomplish a lot of things in the cemetery, but we still have some more to do. Let's go. All right, so we finally made it to our last haunted house of the night, and Labyrinth is supposed to bring all the scares, bring even some clowns, and it's both indoor and outdoor. Y'all, I'm super pumped. 
but I'm also a little nervous and scared. So let's rock this joint, let's go. The story goes, a zombie scientist travels back in time, bringing evil spirits from all eras to the present. They say here at the labyrinth, the past may come back to haunt you. Oh my gosh, where are the lights in this place? Now that was scary, and you can pretty much bet that uh, I will not be sleeping tonight. Thank you very much. But just because the hauntings were done didn't mean the fun had to end. Greystone Haunted Manor is also home to an outdoor movie theater, Boneyard Bistro, looks yummy y'all, with magic shows, gift shops, and the Museum of Oddities. There is so much to see and do at Greystone Haunted Manor, so if you're looking for a good scare, make your way over to Longview. Yo, I survived Greystone Haunted Manor and I think I did it without embarrassing myself too much. So if you're looking for a place that will have you sleeping with the lights on at night, yeah, you know where to come. Yeah. Oh shoot, this guy. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Dare to explore the Haunted Manor? Click on greystonehaunt.com for visitor information.